Hello Grade 8 Learners! Once again, a good morning to all of us! Welcome back again to our FB Live Streaming in Science A. Last meeting, we learned all about earthquake and faults. And for this morning, you are going to learn all about the effects of magnitude and intensity of our Unit 1, which is magnitude and intensity. Are you ready? Let's start! For this day, our objectives are first, to define magnitude and intensity and to differentiate the epicenter of an earthquake from its focus, intensity of an earthquake from its magnitude and active and inactive faults. In the picture that I've shown here last meeting, it has something to do with Pacific Ring of Fire where it is where it has plates such as Eurasian plate. Also, we have North American plate, Arabian plate, Indo-Australian plate, and South American plate. Also, we discussed the borderline as well as the red dots which pertains to volcanoes. And when we say Pacific Ring of Fire, again, it is characterized by frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions marking the borders of the Pacific Plain. Do not forget those terms such as frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. It will help you to remember the meaning of Pacific Ring of Fire. Moving forward, I want you to guess the answer on the jumbled letters mixed with pictures which are related in our discussion. This is quite different from the things that I've always taught to you. You will enjoy these things class. So what are we waiting for? Are you ready? Let's start! For the first word is this. I have here a picture of Earth added to the jumbled letters such as Q, A, U, and E, K. So what's the word? Type now your answer on the comment section. Correct! It is earthquake. When we say earthquake again, class, it has something to do with frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruption. How about the second letter or second word? We have the letter S. Added to this picture, added to capital H G T. In this picture class, it has something to do with the Tagalog term of train. Okay, so what should be the answer? Very good. It should be strength. Next word is this. In the word powder, you need to subtract letter D. And you will get the answer. This is very easy for you, class. What is this? Time's up? Great! It is power. Okay? Try to answer this word. We have the word enero subtracted to letter O, then add capital G and Y. Can you guess now the answer? Exactly correct. It is energy. Okay? For the next word is this. I have here jumbled letters such as capital S, I, E, S, then added to M, I, C. And what picture is this? Can you guess now the answer? What should be the answer? Type now your answer in the comment section. It should be... Very good! It should be seismic waves. How about this one? Let us proceed to another word. I have here M added to this picture. Subtract to letter T. Then arrange the jumbled letters, capital U, R, and E, and the jumbled N, T, M, E. What is the answer? Very well said. It should be measurement. Very good. 
Last two words for this. I have here M-E-R added to this picture and letter capital I. What should be the answer? Exactly! Correct! That is Mercalli. And last word is this. Guess the picture, then arrange the jumbled letters. What should be the answer? You still have 5 seconds? Very well said! It should be rich term. So those words uh, you guess in our discussion has something to do with magnitude and intensity. Now, let us recall first the meaning of earthquake. Okay? It is shaking or trembling of the earth caused by movement along a fault. In this meaning class, remember the word which is shaking and trembling. It also generates or generate waves that travel through the Earth's surface. And these waves are what is felt and cause damage around the epicenter of the earthquake. And as you can see on the picture that I've shown on the screen, these pictures are the results of earthquake. And it could be during or after. Now, in our topic, which is magnitude, and intensity, we need to learn about the word seismology. When we say seismology class, it is the study of earthquake. Do not forget this. It is the study of earthquake. Yes, you heard it right. Because the word logi in Greek word, it means, uh, in Greek word logos means study, while seismo means earthquake or vibration. That is seismology. While well, seismology class or seismologist is a scientist who studies earthquakes. Seismologists are the expertise people who are responsible for the studies of earthquakes. However, we need to deal with seismic waves. And when we say seismic waves, it is the energy released in an earthquake travels in waves. These pictures, as you can see, has the wave fronts. These are the waves which are originate in focus. This is the focus and then wave fronts. Okay? Those are the wave fronts. And to measure earthquake class, we need to use seismograph. When we say seismograph, it is an instrument used to measure an earthquake. This picture is one of the example of seismograph. We also have this in our science laboratory in your school. You have this kind of seismograph. Aside from this, we also have the seismograph, which is the paper record of the earthquake data. So do not forget those words. Paper record. It is where all the data gathered about earthquake. Way. Now, to define magnitude, when we say magnitude class, it is the number that shows the power and energy released of an earthquake. Meaning, it is the number that we can see for every news that we have, like magnitude 5, 7, 8, or 6, or it could be 9, which can also hit any places in our country as well as in other countries. And it is measured in what we so-called Richter scale, which proposed by Charles F. Richter on the year 1935. This scale is used to rate the magnitude of an earthquake. That is the amount released during an earthquake. Remember class, it is during the earthquake. Does that scale are going to use by seismologists. The highest amount of energy is the thing that the seismologists can record in such places. This scale is used for magnitude 
only. So do not forget. Now, for the points to remember, the do understand this class. The greater the magnitude, the stronger the earthquake. I repeat. The greater the magnitude, the stronger the earthquake. Now, as you can see on the image, I have here the orders of magnitude on the Richter scale. First, magnitude 1 to 3.5 has the effect of generally do not felt or not felt but recorded. Magnitude 3.5 to 5.4 has the effect of often felt but rarely causes damage. Magnitude under 6 is most slight damage to a strong building. Magnitude 6.1 to 6.9 is a disruptive over 100 km where people live. Magnitude 7.0, as you notice last on the screen, it has major earthquake causing serious damage. And lastly, magnitude 8 or greater has the effect of great earthquake causing damage over an area hundreds of kilometers across. Those are the details about the effects of each magnitude to all of us. Now, as you notice, this is the news. This is the news way back 2014 where 37,000 found dead and 148,000 people are seriously injured with a magnitude of 7.2 in the West, okay? in the West Valley Fault. And our source here is PBOX or Philippine Volcanology and Seismology. That's all about for magnitude class. How about intensity? Intensity is the strength and effects of the earthquake in different places. I repeat, it is the strength and effects of the earthquake in different places. Here, it is recorded that if magnitude has something to do with the power and energy release, of an earthquake, intensity has something to do with the strength and effects of earthquake in different places, such as houses, buildings, and other structures are inspected. These are the sample of pictures were taken after earthquake. So, take a look at that class. Those are the effects of what we so-called uh, intensity or earthquake. Now, as you notice, an intensity, if we go back, if we go back to, um, uh, what do you call this one? Magnitude a while ago, it is used by uh, Mer uh, Richter scale, while this one, uh, use, it, we use Mercalli scale, where it is developed by an Italian volcanologist Joseph Mercalli in 1884 and expanded to include 12 degrees of intensity in 1902 by Adolfo Cancani. This scale is a seismic intensity scale which used for measuring the intensity of shaking produced by an earthquake. I have here an image of magnitude. And intensity. What can you observe? Class. What can, what can you observe here? We have the magnitude of 5. While in intensity, it counts the number of waves up to 5 also. Now, to distinguish the two, it is intensity is expressed using Roman numerals such as this okay such as this one roman numeral one two three and four while magnitude uses hindu arabic numerals such as these numbers such as two three and 
4. And to sum it up, with regards to magnitude and intensity, I have here a chart. As you notice on the chart, we have intensity versus magnitude. Magnitude first, oh sorry, magnitude first, let's start. When we say magnitude, only one magnitude per earthquake. One in intensity, many intensities per earthquake. Magnitude shows the same on earthquake. While in intensity class, intensity decreases out from the center of an earthquake. Also, in magnitude, we have the measurement is exact and measures the size of the earthquake. While in magnitude, or sorry, while in intensity, measurement is more subjective and measures the effect of shaking in a given area. And for magnitude also, we have measurement is represented by a number 1 to 10, while in intensity, measurement is represented by a Roman numeral 1 to 12. Lastly, but not the least, in magnitude class, it uses the what we so-called Richter scale. While the intensity, it uses the what we so-called Mercalli scale. So I hope you learn about the magnitude or effects of magnitude and intensity. Now, we, we need to move forward for the question and answer portion. Are you ready for the question and answer portion? I have here three questions on me. So let's start for number one. When an earthquake occurs, where would shaking be greater? Is it near the epicenter or away the epicenter? I repeat, when an earthquake occurs, where would shaking be greater? Near the epicenter or away the, from the epicenter? Type now your answer on the comment section. Okay, so the correct answer here, it is near the epicenter, not away from the epicenter. It is where would shaking be greater. I repeat, it should be near the epicenter. I hope you got the correct answer. Now, for question number two, where would damage be more? Near the epicenter or away from the epicenter? Again, type now your answer on the comment section. Okay? The correct answer would be near the epicenter. Okay? The damage is be more on the epicenter. And last question is this. How will you distinguish intensity from magnitude in terms of numerical value. Can you now distinguish the numerical value of intensity and magnitude? Type now your answer in the comment section. Okay? So, when we say uh, magnitude, it has the numerical value of Hindu Arabic which is 1 to 10. While in intensity, it has the Roman numeral 1 to 12. So, that would be all for today class. I hope you learned a lot for this module 1. So, that would be all for today. Goodbye, thank you, and God bless us all.